welcome to Biker Dub Vlog. This one's a special one because this one's uh, the first time I actually did a thorough review of the Himalayan. The Royal Enfield Himalayan did not disappoint in any way. I would say that it did what it was supposed to. So I've been in touch with Ishna Wheels, the Royal Enfield leaders at Gorigaon West. And uh, they've been kind enough to give their Himalayan to me for a test drive. And I kept it for a day. I normally like to ride within Bombay city. I don't mind the traffic. I plan my rides that I leave. Uh, say about 10.30, you get some bit of the Bombay traffic but not the, the Rasha that uh, generally we face on a daily basis. And that was a good uh, benchmark for me to, uh, to test the performance of the Himalayan. I rode it from uh, the suburbs of Bombay, Malad, that's where my house is and that's where Baikarada office is based from. And uh, I took it out to uh, the other end of Bombay, that is uh, Kolaba Church Gate. Along with that, I took it to my cousin. He introduced me to bikes. He bought the CVZ back in 2000 when it was launched. He took it out for a small spin. I was sitting behind him. Yes. Let's go, What great is good. Here. I don't know where is this place exactly but So this is what I came here for Tied the ends of the guitar string The cloud used for Latin American rhythm And then he approached his victims from the rear Looped them around the wire over their heads And <laughs> Sorry, आपका नाम सर संतोष सर सर किरण ये बाइक के बारे में पहले से पता था क्या हां ये इसका ये हिमालय देखा है हमने बैर देख के और रब भी रब चला रहा है रब रास्ते में चल रहा है संतोष संतोष सर किरण सर ने मेरे को अभी वो टॉप पे जाने के लिए मेरे को यहां बाइक पार्क करना पड़ेगा यहां पर यहां पर जो वाइट वाइट दिख रहा है पेड़ के पीछे वो टंकी है वहां से फिर वो बोल रहे और 40 किलोमीटर आगे और भी अच्छा है अच्छा ऐसे ही कुछ है पानी वाला बाउडी ऐसा ये वो ना है वो डैम है डैम डैम है अच्छा है वो देखने के लिए After riding it, I, uh, the talk was 
really impressive it really helps the bike perform at places where other bikes can't so as you can understand the torque is the key with this bike it is a ls410 engine that's the design name of the bike given by royal enfield so ls stands for long stroke long stroke kya hai what long stroke essentially means is that so you understand there are two concepts of an engine one is the bore bore is the diameter of the piston so the linkage between the main crankshaft and the uh, the up and down motion of the piston that actually uh, the up and down motion is called the stroke so the long stroke engine on specially specifically on uh, on road and what does that mean is that you don't when you're entering in a corner you normally are worried about exactly what is the gear that you're on if you're on a higher gear will it will the bike just push through the corner and actually take you off the road but with these bikes is that uh, the, because they're not high performance machine they're not high revving machines even at low revs at a higher gear you can actually get into a corner at a decent speed and within on the same gear you can get out of the turn uh, get out of the corner at a impressive uh, speed so that's that's a good fun and off road again it's the fun that you don't have to worry about which gear you're on you can just leave it on the second or the third gear and actually i'm a beginner rider in terms of off roading i would say i'm not off road much but i have ridden on uh, rougher terrain so that that helped me in terms of using this so the vibrations are lesser th compared to the other royal enfield bikes so that's a good thing so now coming to the brakes the brakes are pretty efficient comes with dual brakes uh, dual disc brakes front and rear the i wouldn't get into the specific sizes and the numbers of the brakes but then so what i felt was that the brakes don't die out or they don't give away at high speed when you constantly using the brake for a very long time because i think one of the good points is that it has uh, steel braided lines brake lines so that's a good thing but the problem with the overall dynamics of this bike is that it's got road and off road capable tires so what does that mean is that uh, the rear side does not slide often it gives you good good stability but the front tire so you feel that the bike is not giving the ultimate grip when you're trying to brake from 90 to a dead stop but uh, it is pretty efficient that's what the bike is designed for so i cannot come it is pretty comfortable the suspensions are pretty comfy uh, it's got it's got a monoshock with linkage so with linkage what does that mean essentially is means the monoshock is not connected to the uh, swing arm directly the, the monoshock is connected to a link system linkage system below the swing arm and this in turn uh, absorbs a lot of the harsh or the quick jerks that you would feel so that's the reason why this bike effortlessly cruises over tough terrain after my test drive i had a discussion with one of my friends who was looking to buy a new bike and he was very much inclined towards the himal and he loved the bike he likes the design of it and he, and we had gone and booked the bike at the kandavili showroom congratulations let me congratulate you my brother he just bought what is uh, booked as himalayan right now mm -hmm. he is a proud almost owner of a himalayan now yeah. he is one and a half months two months two months so how do you feel ru Right now, there's too much anticipation happening. Good Thank one. You so much. Yeah, I guess that's about it, and the day is almost over. So uh, I'm out of daylight. I I chose to come out on my terrace today because uh, this this was a ride that I've already previously done. So there's not much live vlogging that I could do. You can consider this as a throwback video or a throwback vlog to the day that I actually went. And now, so let's talk about Track Machines. Track Machines is one of the first subscribers of Bikerada.com, and they were kind enough to support the business model that uh, Bikerada is bringing into India. Uh, I met with Mustak Sir, and he's the proprietor of Track Machines, and he's been kind enough to let me into his showroom and shoot some of his bikes. Right now, if you see, there are two Hayabusa's, one Kawasaki, and an Ioniq. Three and a Z800 also. So, uh, if you guys are looking for a second-hand sports bike in Bombay, you can definitely check out Track Machine. So, the contact details are mentioned in the description below. I hope that helps you. I am looking to meet the owner of uh, this establishment and uh, give you a comprehensive understanding uh, of the second-hand sports bike market in Bombay. So, yeah, that's about it for now. Next vlog will feature the Tansa Dam ride that I did with Daryl, my one of my friends. He's uh, my ex-colleague from my previous. Uh, organizations and Daryl had the idea of going to Tansa Dam and I checked it on the maps and I said why not it's a beautiful place let's go I hope to see you next time thank you for watching thank you guys see you next time thanks like कीजिए said it